hello everyone so today we are going to look into how to change this uh, character that we have in our shooter project into a custom um, skeletal mesh so all the systems that we have developed is still working nothing is changed only the character so this is actually a request that I got a lot of times from various people so how to change the character and have your own character with this project so yeah today I'm going to show you how to do that okay so on top of the ALS system we have already added a lot of stuff uh, in this shooter game so you already know the system so I'm not going to introduce that here so yeah now what i want to do is instead of having this default mannequin uh default not mannequin default als character uh how to add your own character into this uh, project so i already have imported this exoskeleton character this guy so this is a character that I had used very early on before I integrate ALS system into this shooter project so what I want to do now is uh, using this guy instead of the ALS mannequin so to do that first we need to have a retargeter and I can retargeter uh, to have these animations to be able to play on the exoskeleton guy so for that we can actually create right click animation and then here we can see IK rig so we can first create a IK rig and then IK retarget it so if I just create one using the exo now you see here we will have to manually add all these bone chains which is a tedious process uh, I hope that would be automated in a future update in Unreal so I'm just going to use a lazy approach here so if I add the third, third person template into this project there we will have a, have a ready-made IK rig so like that we add feature or content pack and third person okay now under characters we have under rigs IK UE4 mannequin I carry so here you can see everything all these bone chains are set up so we can simply copy this to be used with the exoskeleton character so let me just drag and drop this uh, IK UE4 mannequin into exo folder and here I'll change this IK exo now here instead of SK mannequin change into exoskeleton now you do get a couple of warnings that's because some of the bones are not included in the skeleton of the scale uh, of this exoskeleton character but uh, that will not be a problem but still it would be better in order to get perfect results it would be better if you have a character that has the exact um, skeleton of the less character that would make things much easier and that will give you good results so whenever you create a new character it would be better to have the same skeleton okay and now after that 
I don't really need to change anything here but if anything goes wrong we can check inspect each of these one chains and see if there are any valid selections okay now we need to get create a right carry target so right click animation I carry target and pick I carry to copy animation from so this is the um, so here we need to select the anime I rig of the animation I rig of the character that we need to copy animation so that means ALS character but I didn't create an I rig for the ALS character yet so again go back to characters rigs and where is the ALS character here this is the ALS uh, skeleton so again go here drag and drop this IKUE4 mannequin and make a copy in the mannequin skeleton folder and rename it IKALS now again go here just like before, change the mesh, mesh to this one, an man mesh, and here. Yeah. Now close those two. Go back to Excel folder. Here, let's create a new. I can retarget so as the source select I can less I can read less to exo okay now here Source is already selected as the target. Select IKXO. Now you see we need to match these poses. So you can go to edit mode here and select these bones and rotate to match. I will roughly do that but it is better to pay attention here and try to match as accurate as possible okay and seems fine How about from this way okay it's still not a perfect match but I'm not going to spend much time on here this should be enough to demonstrate now if I preview an animation it works fairly fine but you can see there is some offset in the hands so if you accurately match then it should be fine if I play an animation oh this seems sort hand goes inside from the elbow so let's go back and I think we have to match this better than that better than what we have already so okay I did modify some more now let's see let's see uh, run it yeah it works good now seems better now it doesn't have that and 
as I working correctly. Okay. Now let me save this. And here let me open my ALS character, player character blueprint. So here I have this small setup which change the default character we see to the default UE4 mannequin. Let me just disconnect that because we are going to have this exoskeleton character. So now uh, here under this mesh add a new skeletal mesh component. I'll call it custom mesh and here I'll add exo right oh we need a special type of animation blueprint here so right click create an in blueprint a b p exo so here all we need is uh, a ta retarget pose from mesh this is what we need and here select the IK retargeter a less to exoskeleton the retargeter that we just created and yes we do get some warnings but this will still work the warnings are because we have some bone mismatches as I explained before right now here uh, VPXO right now you see already the animations are applied to the exoskeleton character and we can simply disable the visibility of this guy and that's it now we have this exoskeleton character which works with our shooter and you might see some uh, issues with the animations that's because as I said the skeletons do not perfectly match but if you have a better skeleton in your character they, that wouldn't be a problem but anyway so now you know how to have uh, how to change the mesh that you have in this project into your custom mesh so yeah thanks for watching as always project files will be available for this project in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye